Hola everyone! In today's video, I want to update you on the platforms that I'm currently in and share something brand new with you that I'm excited to add to my portfolio. First of all, let's check out my spreadsheet. You know how much Miss B loves her spreadsheets. And FX trading we're not going to talk about. We did that already this week. My passive trades. My passive trades has been giving me a lot of 404 um, screens. I have managed to go in and get whatever money I can get off daily, but nine or let's say 50% of the time I'm getting these damn 404 screens. It's not giving me a good feeling. So with my passive trades, you know, it's one up to 1.25% daily minimum withdrawal is $10. So let's go in and see what I have on my balance and see if I can do a withdrawal today. So my wallet, go down to the bottom, and I have 980. So I don't have quite enough to take off the platform, so we'll have to wait until Monday. That's okay. So as you know, with my passive trades, there have been a few login um, issues recently. And I immediately stopped sharing my link uh, quite a few weeks ago. And until I get some comfort, I will not be sharing my link again. And for now, I'm planning on just taking my money off where I can. I'm already in profit with this platform, but I don't have a good feeling with the number of times that I've gotten that 404 screen. So this could be the start of an exit. Of course, I'm not fighting the platform. I'm just saying it's possible. So I'm trying to be smart this time and get off more of my profits and come out well ahead of the game rather than continuing to reinvest and take some off, reinvest, take some off. So for the next little while, you'll see me continuing to take off the platform uh, as soon as I hit my minimum and uh, we'll see what happens. Now with Cash FX, that's the next one in my portfolio. It's one of the newer ones in my portfolio, still in pre-launch, and I'm so happy I didn't kick the tires on this one. I'm literally loving this one, and I wish I could show you my back office. But what I do love about this program is that you can come in as a bear and just stay as a bear and earn 2x on your investment. So say you come in and you purchase a $1,000 uh, Academy pack, you will end up taking off $2,000 off of this platform. If you decide to share it with just one person, you can turn into a bull and that gives you an additional 2x. So you can earn up to 4x on your investment. Again, that $1,000 investment can turn into $4,000. Right now, we're earning up to 15% a week. Now, normally that can sound scary to some people saying like, it's not sustainable to earn 15% a week. Well, if you calculate, it's only an average of up to 3% daily that you can earn. So if you do any sort of trading, you know that that's easy. That's an easy percentage to earn. But for a lot of us, trading is scary or even if you tried, say, the Oracle's uh, German pinprick strategy, which is awesome, you are you might still be too nervous to continue with it. And when you bring that energy into it, you end up losing sometimes. And then that can discourage you. And you're scared to get back on the, the pony, so to speak, and play with those German pinpricks. If that's the case, then that's why I love cash effects. It's about Forex trading, but you don't need to know how to Forex trade. You simply deposit your funds, you buy an academy pack, part of that goes towards training, part of that goes towards your investment, but all in all, in the end, you either earn 2x the amount that you invested or you earn 4x. I have been killing it with this and I honestly wish I could show you my back office. I have now made enough to uh, upgrade my package a few times and I'm at about 14 to 18 dollars per day that I can take off the platform every week and so that's daily though and of course there's no guarantees here but I really believe in this program their transparency the amount of effort they've been putting into giving us promotional materials I mean 
Sure, you know, it might only last a couple of years, but we're in pre-launch. We finally got into something early, really early. Look at EXP Asset. I got into that when it was, I think, about a year and a half old. I lasted in it for about eight months, and I still made out really well on that. So if I can make out really well on that one, I can just imagine how amazing this one will be. If you at all are thinking of getting into this one, I say don't wait. Next in my portfolio is Profits Bots. This one's been killing it as well. This is like the sleeping giant. Not a lot of people know about this, but it's still been paying me really well. So I have 2257 in here. I'm not going to get into the details about this because I've covered it enough in a lot of my videos. But yesterday I reinvested and purchased this $25 casino bond. And as you know, I'm already in profit. So all the money here is basically free money. I've already gotten my investment off and more. I mean, just this week alone, I've made $143. And my initial investment in this program was only $100. And that was oh, I like mid-July. So yeah, this has been going really well. I've earned $588 on here and uh, yeah, still have two bots going. So my point is, is that I'm going to actually purchase another bot today. That's what I've decided for the next little while because I'm so in profit, I'm just gonna keep reinvesting in here and see if I can get even more off the platform daily. Okay, so purchase bot. And I'm gonna do the Forex with this one. And I don't enter the decimals, I just do $22. I say I wanna use my payout wallet balance and buy. And it's as simple as that. So now I should have three bots active. Yes, I do, perfect. So my portfolio actually, as you can see, like FX trading, we're still allowed withdrawals, but only once a month. So that's pretty well dying off. EXP asset, it's still, the jury's out on that one. It looks like they're gone, but hey, you never know. Uh, VCI International, this one I'm just getting my money off, not reinvesting, not sharing my link for ages. And X Trade Chain, same thing. So basically in my portfolio right now, I have cash effects and profits bots. And yes, my passive trades, but this is starting to worry me. So basically I'm on the hunt for something new. Now DJ Nice Crypto brought it to me, this next platform that I'm gonna talk about, and I trust him. So I thought I'd jump into something a little riskier. And I don't have a good feeling, like I said, about my passive trades. I love Cash FX and feel like it could be around for a long time. Profits Bots has been great as well. So I really have no complaints about those things. And as far as things seem to be going well with all of those, I still want to try to continually diversify. If I'm left with only two platforms, that increases my risk again. So I like to try to continually diversify. And unfortunately, the last few things that the team has gotten into, I've been just so crazy busy that I haven't had the time to do my own research and feel safe enough to get into. And some of those things, well, that worked out good for me. But now I'm taking the time to try to look at some of the newer things that are out there because again, if I kick the tires too long on certain things, I still don't want to get into them. So the next thing that I will talk about and that I did get into is um, something that, like I said, DJ Nice Crypto is in. And this platform has been around since September 10th, I believe. We can confirm that on the platform. And I personally haven't done a withdrawal, but I have done a deposit and know that that works. And I have been earning daily since I got in this three days ago. So yes, this girl feels like taking a little bit of risk. I miss the old hypes and this program felt like an old hype. So I decided to jump into it. But please remember, for those of you who are new, 
I am not your financial advisor, not your mother, not your sister or lover. What you decide to do is up to you. We are all adults here and need to take personal responsibility for our actions. The money that I have deposited in all of these platforms is money that I can afford to miss. Now, do I want to lose? Hell no. But we all need to decide what we are comfortable going into. Listen to your gut. Do your own research. I will always try to pick investments where I feel my money is safe. I will always try something with my own money before bringing it to you. But there are no guarantees. Okay, so does anyone want to take a guess as to what I'm jumping into? I'll give you a hint. You can earn up to 5% daily. See that over here. Any guesses? Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> ah, I think I hear someone saying it. And it is raising ads. <laughs> okay, so I love it when you guys are right. I jumped into raising ads about three days ago. And like I mentioned, so far seem, things seem to be going well. I personally haven't done a withdrawal. I know that the deposits work and the earnings work on the $50 deposit that I did make. I'm getting about $3 per day. Now this platform actually started December 10th or September 10th, 2019. I got, like I said, I got in with a $50 ad pack. So let's just go down and see. They have different ad packs, but I personally got into this $50 ad pack where I can earn up to 5% daily. The share expires once it hits 158% and I can withdraw at any time. And I'm not really sure what this PB our PPC banner ads are 50 clicks uh, maybe that's free banner and you're allowed up to 50 clicks not sure on that and five days unlimited ban banner clicks and five days unlimited text ad clip clips clicks Woo. now I haven't gotten into any of that I'm really just interested in making the 5% daily right now And as you can see here, two level referral commission. So if you sign up, I get 10% of what you deposit. And if someone signs up under you, I still get 2%. Okay, so that's pretty well their, their front end website. And when you log in, this is what it looks like. Um, I've already done a deposit. Like I said, I got into this I registered into this platform on the 23rd and made my $50 deposit and so far I have earned $9.79 and let's see how we can go ahead and withdraw that. This will be my first official withdrawal and I'm hoping that it's fairly quick so that you guys can hear it hit my wallet. So the minimum withdrawal here is $5 and I had $9 and what in there? Whew, Miss B, you need to pay attention. Class is in session. Okay, let's go back to, <laughs> let's just go back. Okay, so as you can see, I'm really new to this platform and you're learning along with me. So here I have $9.79 and there's no other way to withdraw other than going up here request withdrawal $9.79 okay so I'll do $9.79 of Bitcoin Earning balance, I think, and submit. 
Now for some of you big ballers, be careful, it's $5,000 max withdrawal. We're going to submit that and see what happens. Please enter payment processor ID. What is that? I have 984 actually sitting there. I did Bitcoin and it's in my earnings. Submit. Please enter processor ID. I wonder if that's my Bitcoin wallet. Maybe it's not set. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, and that's exactly what it was. See, I don't have my Bitcoin wallet address set, uh, set. So I will set that as my preferred wallet and say submit. And as you can see here, account activity and profile. That's where I went to set my Bitcoin wallet address or whatever address you may have. So I just want to show you that I made an active deposit of $50 on the 23rd of September and so far on the evening of the 26th I have made $9.84. So I'm going to go ahead and request that withdrawal. So we go to finance, request withdrawal, double check my balance here. See it's gone up to $9.84. So we'll put 984 and Bitcoin and submit. And now I have to enter my security answer. So I'm just going to pause here for a second. I love you guys, but I don't want to share that much. Okay, and it looks like the request was sent successfully. So that's great. So we'll just wait to hear about that. I am thinking actually of depositing another $50 in here. But I think I'm going to wait until I get that deposit, uh, or sorry, the withdrawal show up first. I mean, I have seen other YouTubers getting withdraw or <laughs> withdrawals off of the platform, but I just want to personally make sure that I am myself before I uh, go ahead and deposit more in here. But I'm going to pause the video and then once I hear it hit my wallet, I'll come back and we will make another deposit and show you how to make a deposit. Okay, so I'm back and it's been about an hour and I haven't gotten a deposit yet um, from my withdrawal request, um, but I am confident that it'll come through. But uh, rather than doing another deposit tonight, I'll wait until Monday to do another deposit on video. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and I forgot to check. Uh, not profits, bots. Raising ads. So there's quite a few people talking about it. Two days, one week, 10 years old. <laughs> That's obviously not raising ads, it's raising eyebrows. I just got to watch this for a second. Okay, enough of that. Oh, you know those things that just keep your attention and you just want to watch because you're not sure how it's going to end? AI children. Hmm. Okay, enough of this. I'm going to stop. Um, so, yeah, basically there seems to be lots of people talking about raising ads. Um, 
Not a lot, but but at least enough. It's a good sign. Yeah, definitely not a lot, but it is new, so we'll see where this one goes. I have a good feeling about it too, so I'm willing to take the risk, and I definitely will want to learn and see how the ads work, and maybe I can replace my passive trades with this. We'll see. You know guys, we know that nothing lasts forever in crypto, so I'm hoping that this can add to my daily profits for now and sort of balance out my risk. Some people have asked me, what would you invest in right now if you had say $500? And I'd definitely take the risk with CashFX. Of course, it's not financial advice, but that's what I personally would do. And in fact, over the next few weeks, I will most likely be able to upgrade again and that's what I plan on doing with CashFX because I absolutely love that program. I know we should never fall in love with any program but I really have high hopes for that one and uh, we'll see where it goes. So that's about it for today everyone. Wishing you all a blessed day and until next time, hasta luego. Love you guys.